Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can deploy our Angular application on Versal. So Versal is a free of cost platform where you can deploy your React, Angular, Vue.js and Next.js application etc. So first of all we will install fresh Angular application in local system. Then if this is working fine then we will push it, uh, its code to the GitHub. Then we have to log in or sign up to the Versal. Then we will connect uh, GitHub with the Versal and uh, after uh, performing some steps our application will be deployed and then we will see how we can make some changes and redeploy our application on the same url and uh, the url whatever we are using or where we are deploying our application that will be provided in the description box this is angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for angular job project and interviews you can access this playlist from description box of this part all right so first of all let me open the terminal and uh, I am clearing the, uh, everything from terminal and let me go to the dashboard and then tutorials folder and let me create new angular application. So I am using their sudo because my folders don't have full permission. So if you have full permission then you can run this command without sudo and I will recommend you if you are not aware like permission you have or not then first try without sudo and then you can try with the sudo if uh, without sudo is not working so just use their sudo ng new and your application name so let me put their angular app and let me provide the password then we have to just choose css or sas for styling then we don't need server side renting so i'm putting there no and after that it will take just few moments to set up uh, the application Yep, and after that you can open it uh, to the VS code for that simply run their code dot command and here you can see that this is perfectly visible so let me delete the previous one yep and if you want to check the versions and all uh, everything you can check in the package.json but one thing so I, I think I just opened the complete repository there tutorial so let me close it again and then I'll go to the angular app and that we can open there with code.command yeah this is uh, perfect now versions and everything you can check there and let's try to run it ng surf and see if this is working on the local yeah and for that you can just try to run it on the local host 4200 this is perfectly working fine after that the next thing that we need to do we have to initialize the git so you can just put their git in it there yeah so this is already initialized so that's fine now go to the github yeah and uh, then create new repository there and i will put the repository name is angular app the same whatever i just keep the name in our angular application then uh, don't need to select anything you can just click on the create repository yep then run first command yep after that if this is asking some expectations or something then you can just make it configuration again yep and run this command again yeah and now clear and uh, just make the main branch and push it on the git here we go after that you can refresh it this is perfectly working fine yep code is pushed there now go to the versal versal.com and my account is already logged in so let me try to log out it first yep so let me open again yeah now what you can do you can click on the sign up or login uh, yep so let me connect it with the github yeah so these are the two previous projects that's fine we don't need to worry about them click on the add new project yep and then you can see that we have some options uh, so you can we just now we created one more repository with the name of angular app and this is not there right so go to the adjust github app uh, permission go to the account and in little bit lower you will find that if you just search angular app 
this one you can select it save it and here we go now you can click on the import and it will be just about to deploy then click on the deploy it will hardly take one or two minutes depending on your application size but if you are uh, installing the, the fresh application as we are installing then hardly it will take one minute and then it will give the dashboard and uh, url and everything whatever is necessary then here we go this is our application name angular app and the same we are running on the local host then uh, continue to dashboard and you can click on the visit so this is the uh, live url that you can also check i will provide this url in the uh, you can see that uh, comment section then let's make some changes in the application and see how we can redeploy it if i just remove that and click there let's say angular app and after that what you need to do you just need to git add commit once you will push the code on the github it will be redeployed automatically done git push yep so now within few seconds that will be deployed and now you will find like this okay let me refresh it okay this is not working on the local host so let me just run it on the local host also ng serve so let's check on the local host so this should be the same on the our uh, you can see that live server also whatever wherever, wherever we are deploying after that you will see this this will be automatically changed there and if i just refresh this here we go all right so now let me just revert these changes because this is not looking cool previous is much better right yep save it again uh, get add dot get commit done get push yeah so just after a few seconds you will see uh, you will you can check the changes there and then uh, it will redeploy internally and uh, that the changes will be there also so i am not pausing this video i just want to show you how this is automatically uh, adapt the changes yeah now you can see that the changes are there and if i just refresh this the changes are here also so this is how you can deploy your application on the vessel at the free of cost thank you so much for watching this part guys